Hey guys, welcome to another video with The Boys. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, but I figured it might be useful for people who might want to look at streaming and recording and without using Voice Meter. While Voice Meter is handy to separate audio tracks and overall audio control, I found it to be more of a nuisance than a solution, as I was getting endless problems with crackling mic and also being fairly complex to set up in the first place. I came across online a piece of software called Steel Series Sonar that's meant to replace Voice Meter uh, that is much more simplified. And while people have talked about the features of Steel Series Sonar, such as this EQ and audio mixer. Not a lot of people, if any, have talked about how to actually set it up with OBS, and that's what this video is going to look at today. So the first thing you want to do is come to steelseries.com forward slash gg and then scroll down until you see this free download link here. Once the download is complete, just click on the executable file and then you just want to select your language, press next, press I agree, and then this will start installing the application. Okay, and once that's done, just press finish, and this should open up the application for you automatically. Now, you can use SteelSeries GG without a SteelSeries account. However, for the part of the application we need to use, called Sona, we do need to make a SteelSeries account. I already have one, so I'm not going to click on this link, but this is the link that you need to click on to. Log into GG and go to the Sona part of the application, and here is the setup menu that you'll have. So just click on Start Setup. It is going to ask you for what your game output is. This is what device you are using to listen to your audio. So this could be your headphones or some speakers. Click on your device and then set game output the chat output is also going to be the same and the microphone is going to be the name of the microphone that you're using in this instance i'm using the hyperx quadcast s it'll then start to configure all the devices that you've inputted and then just press game on now as you can see here we've got three separate channels one for our game audio so this is our desktop audio this could be youtube videos our actual games uh, this is our chat channel which will in this instance we'll be using for discord and this is our microphone channel. The other thing you might want to check is the Windows sound settings. So if you go into your settings, system sound volume mixer, you can set the output and input device to what you want it to. So in this instance, we need the output to be set to SteelSeries Sonar Gaming and the input to be SteelSeries Sonar Microphone. Uh, the only thing you might want to change as well is in the volume mixer. If you go to the Discord app, select the SteelSeries Chat. This can be left as default as our default microphone is already our SteelSeries Sonar. Okay, so to get it set up with OBS, I've created a blank project Project or profile um, so it should be easier to follow to set it up with the steel series application so the first thing you want to go to is settings and then output and then change the output mode to advanced now i'm not going to go into these encoder settings or anything like that as this is going to be dependent on the hardware that you have and also the type of videos you're going to put out whether it be 4k full hd so we're going to want to click on this recording tab and then in the interest of having just three audio tracks, we're going to tick these first three. This is just for recording purposes. And press apply. OK. This box here is where we set up our audio sources. So to set up a microphone, we right click, add and select audio input capture. And we'll name this microphone. Our device is going to be our SteelSeries Sonar microphone. And as you can see, when I'm talking into the mic, the meter is moving, which shows that it is getting input. If you want to hear the input that is being directed to it, you can monitor the device by clicking on this ellipse, pressing advanced audio properties and selecting audio monitoring and you've got these options here click on monitor and output if you still can't hear the playback of your microphone go into settings audio scroll down we have this advanced section the monitoring device just set that to your headphones so the next one we need to set up is the steel series game channel so right click add and go to audio output capture we'll name this desktop as this is going to be our overall desktop audio such as our games and videos etc it's okay device gaming okay now, if I start playing this YouTube track here, this meter will start to bounce up and down. There we go. So now we know that audio is going to that track. The last one we need to set up is our chat track. So in this instance, it's our Discord. So just right click, add, and go to audio output capture again. And then name this one Discord. Then select Steel Series Sonar Chat. Go to your Discord and then double check that the right input and output has been set. So this should be your Steel Series microphone as your input and your steel series sonar chat for your output device so i'm just going to play some copyright free music from discord just to simulate sound coming from discord so this would normally be your friends speaking uh, so if i just play that and if we go to obs we can see that this sound being generated from discord now a certain you want to check to make sure that they are being recorded on separate tracks is if you right click in this audio mixer pane here go to advanced audio properties you'll have all of these ticked so you just tick a separate box for each source so if we just get rid of these and we'll have microphone on track one, Discord on track two, and desktop on track three. If you want to live stream, you have to put all of the audio sources onto one track. 
as when live streaming it can only utilize one track so what i like to do is put the streaming track onto number six so it's completely separate from one two and three press apply and okay and if you go back into the advanced audio properties and then just tick track box number six for each audio source these will be used for your live streaming and that's it that's your obs ready to record with steel series if you found this video useful please leave a like a comment and subscribe um, and any feedback is also welcome thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one